Hello everyone, this is Nime with Family Travel Africa. I'm here with Aza and Aze this morning, and uh, we are going to make a Jamaican Easter bun. Okay. So the Jamaican Easter bun is thought to have developed from the hot cross That's bun, nice. and that was brought to Jamaica by the British. So the British made the hot cross buns on what day? It was Good Friday, and that cross on the bun was uh, to symbolize Jesus, Jesus dying on the cross, right? So somehow, some way, it went from this very simple bun to uh, Jamaica. Jamaica, yeah, yummy Jamaican Easter bun. So we are really excited today. We found this amazing recipe from a unique journey. Her name is Yannick, shout out to her. And we will put her link in this uh, video comment section because I think this recipe is fantastic. It is perfect for the Easter bun. And who wants to spend $25 on an Easter bun when you can make it at home? And it's so simple and easy. The two littles are making it. So um, let's get started. Stay tuned. Aza, you're going to show us the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients, um, you can get the specific measurements on her site, but we start with some flour. Mm -hmm. So this is three cups of sifted flour, right? And you want to show us some nutmeg, Aza? We're going to put nutmeg. It smells good. It smells good, but you hadn't smelled it yet, had you? Yes, I did. From the last time? <laughs> you can smell it from there. And then we have some baking powder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about the cinnamon, Aza? That also smells good, I know. So we got some cinnamon and some salt. Yeah. Some brown sugar, dark brown sugar. And we're also going to put um, raisins. And then lastly, our cherries. Yeah, the recipe, cherries, are good. cherries are good. The recipe did call for mixed peel, which is like a combination of different fruit, but we're gonna skip out on that. These guys are happy just having the raisins and the cherries. So um, as I've got our dry ingredients, we're gonna move over to Aze'e with our wet ingredients. Aze'e, you've got our wet ingredients. You wanna show everyone what we've got? We've got some honey. honey. And we got some brown sugar. Burnt sugar, which is browning. And we got some malta. Malta, so usually a Guinness stout would be used. We're going to use malta, which is non-alcoholic. We've got some vanilla. And we got some um, molasses. molasses. We just have it in a cup here. We'll measure that out. And as I, this is guava, guava jam, right? Mm -hmm. And what is something we cannot forget? Egg. One egg. <laughs> so this is super simple. The way it works is we mix all our wet, all our dry, and then we put them together. Just like the thing. Well, what's that called? What thing, Tata? The thing in the, the set. That's the pumpkin called thing that we made. Oh, when you make the pumpkin spice loaf? Yeah. The cut, cut. Yeah, same kind of idea, right? Does that S? So you mix your dry and... All together, you're wet all together, and then you combine them, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty typical for a loaf. So we're going to start with Aza in a little bit. Aza, the first thing we're going to do is put one teaspoon of cinnamon into our flour, right? So let's do that. You've got your cinnamon here. One teaspoon. You can turn that in. And then we're gonna get a teaspoon of our nutmeg and do the same thing. Yeah, it smells good. It smells good, I know, always, right? And so there's our nutmeg. Just about. I thought you could, you don't have to smell it every time, do you? Mm -hmm. It's just so smelling. 
That smells good. And now it's time for our half teaspoon of salt. So let's try to... Salt does smell good. Yeah, salt doesn't have a smell. You've, you've tried smelling it before, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn that in. Oh right there. Goodness. And next thing is going to be one tablespoon of baking powder. Yes, pepper does have a smell. And so our tablespoon is also 15 cc's or 15 wow. milliliters. So it's the biggest spoon we have here, right? Yeah. So we're going to flatten that out. Get it good. Flatten it out. Yeah, that's not. And then you pour that in. And it camouflages when you can look out. Aza, that doesn't smell either. Yeah. So Aza is going to get a whisk. And mix it up. And mix it up. Good job. So as I, you want to whisk all that good stuff together. And then we are going to move on to our wet ingredients. Ooh, oopsies. Be careful, Azza. And Azza is going to show us how to put those together. Mm -hmm. So Azza has got our wet ingredients. Azza, you're whisking away at the one egg we have. And you can put a little muscle in it. So, use that hand to hold this bowl. Yep, just yep, keeping it down. And here is four tablespoons of melted butter. And we're going to start adding our wet ingredients to it. So, as that, the first thing you're going to do is add your stout or your malta to your melted butter. Go ahead and pour it in there. All of it? Yep, all of it. Ooh, foamy. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Who likes Malta here? Me. Yeah, you guys both like Malta. And then the next thing we're going to do is two teaspoons of browning. So we're going to get that teaspoon again. And you've got one. And Mama's going to add the second one. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to add is our molasses. It kind of so, smells like coffee, but it's not. It smells like coffee? No, it kind of looks like coffee. But it's not. So now we're going to add our molasses. It's going to be one tablespoon of molasses. Okay. So here's our tablespoon, and molasses are thicker, right? So you see that? That's a lot of thick. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And to get it all in there, we're going to use our spatula to do a scoop out. Yeah, so you're going to do the next couple of things here. That's just working it out. Syrup. And then um, okay. the next thing is that is a quarter cup of honey and one tablespoon of the guava jelly or guava jam. <laughs> so as a you've got guava. Yep, your guava jam, one tablespoon. It's gonna be well, as a it's just gonna need some help. And then the next thing we're gonna put is our brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And as I, you remember asking me if brown sugar is wet or dry, and I said it's like wet sand. So we get to put that in here. Just turn it in. And we're going to stir, stir, stir. Yep, you can stir. And that way I will add the honey. So this is one fourth cup of honey. So you can see why it's so sweet and yummy and moist. And Careful, as I, Careful. Don't spill. Good That's job. So sticky. Very sticky. sticky. Everything's been sticky so far. We've got to pull it out of here. It's crazy sticky. Because of the sugar. It's going to be crazy yummy. Okay. And now we're just going to add our vanilla mm -hmm. and, of course, our egg. So let's put our egg in first. Ooh. 
Got to stir with a little more muscle. Perfect. Careful. Good job. All right. And last but not least is our vanilla. Keep stirring. Getting awesome. All right, good deal. And so the fun part comes where we mix the wet and the dry ingredients. Oh yeah. Couple raisins. And adding that to our wet ingredients. And lastly, we will add our dry ingredients to the wet. And as I did a great job of mixing all these dry. And so I'm just whisking it all in. Typically, you know, you do it a little bit at a time, but my schedule is going a little crazy. So I'm just gonna mix it all in at once. And then it goes into our greased loaf pan. And we've already put our oven at 350. And so in about 60 minutes, this should be ready. It smells so good already. Just gonna keep mixing. It's coming along really nicely. It's always fun when you can bake a loaf and before it even goes in the oven, you can smell it, but the best part is, as it's baking, the whole house just takes that smell. And this is our last bit. See it all coming together. And our diced mar maraschino cherries go on top of this after we've put it into our loaf. Looks good. So now I'm going to transfer it into my loaf pan. Mm -hmm. Very yummy. So we are back with Aza and Aza Ed just got this out the oven. So it was 350 degrees for 60 minutes and it is ready to come out because we cooled it down. And we're going to go ahead and taste it. So this came out of the pan nice and easy, clean. And we are going to go ahead and slice it up. And we're going to taste it. You're ready to taste it? I'm going to taste the cherries. The cherries, that's your favorite part. And this is traditionally served with cheese. So what, bun and cheese? Yeah. All right. Nice and soft. All right, you ready? Let's get our plates out and have some of this. The knife makes a difference, apparently. So that looks really good. Yeah. And we're going to have this with some tea, right, Aza? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So you like that. All right. I am ready to get into it. So, Aza, we want to say thank you for watching the video. Mouth still food of, full of Easter bun. But that just is because it's so good. And um, we hope you would try this recipe. It is from Yannick at A Unique Journey. Mm -hmm. She does fantastic Jamaican recipes yeah. and we are ready to have our bun with yeah. some cheese and tea. Mm -hmm. Until next time, like, share, subscribe mm -hmm. and looks like someone's coming back into the kitchen. Azea, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Thanks bye -bye. for watching. I hope you like my video. Yes you do. Subscribe. Yeah.